Welcome back to another episode of Mod Sauce 2 on the FTOG server. So, last episode we got some power problems fixed up. Um, I had a helpful comment last um, from the last video. Let's go down and look real quick. Um, I was having a choking issue with my diesel generator. Um, and I, I did upgrade the wires after the episode. Um, these wires here, I'm using the endothermic or the the ender energy ones, which is 24,000 RF a tick, and this does like 4,000 RF a tick, I believe, 4,000 something RF a tick. And then I had that little itty bitty energy cube up here, or energy cell from thermodynamics, um, that was only allowing 200 RF a tick to move. So with this, um, this is a regular capacitor bank and it does maximum in and out 500 okay um, that's more than what the generator puts out so we should be fine there as far as moving stuff around I did put this in here to kind of monitor um, how things are going and I'm putting in I'm only putting in about 200 RF a tick um, It'll go over 200 every once in a while, but not a whole, like 210, 215 is the highest I've seen this go. So, um, has, has seen the input go so far. So, um, so yeah, we're not really doing, you know, we're, we're sitting pretty good on power still. I am going to build a second diesel generator. I need to up my production. Um, I've got a small farm out there right now, and I'm just keeping up with seeds. Um, even with me being uh, away a couple of nights, not doing anything on here, um, they uh, they're not we're not gaining. We'll put it that way. So I need to up my farm a little bit because I want to have extra. Um, I plan on putting a six pack of these in just because I like the way they look. Um, so yeah, other than cleaning the room up, making it look better, getting rid of the ladder and whatnot. Um, so yeah, and I might I might do some more work with these too. Um, I know they're just little itty bitty early game stuff, but you know why not? We can do it. We can. Uh, and I'm gonna be doing some different. I'm gonna reroute some of the power in here too. Um, as you can see, I got power going here to the energy cell. I want to cut this cable. Let's see the wrench. If I cut this cable, what's that do for our power situation? Do we start losing more? See, the generator should be carrying all of this weight, or the generator right now is carrying all of the weight, and it looks like. We're slowly going down. Well, I don't know. It's kind of... It's leveling out. Yeah, I think she's leveling out. So, yeah. See, now we're doing... Average input is... Um, gone up a lot. So we're almost up to 1,000 RF a tick. Are we draining this battery? We are not. We are not draining this battery, so that's good. Um, and the only reason why I have this here instead of going straight, you know, to our big bank over here that we're going to have, is because I want that buffer. Um, yeah. Okay. So we are good on power, but our our uh, input is going is going up. So. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, the only reason I put that on there is I just wanted to kind of monitor what our input was. Not our output, because this thing won't put out output this that much. But it gives me an idea on where we are at for power. Because that says 25 million. Come over here. This is only 20 million. And then this is 20, or this is another 5 million. So, that tells me total on the network what's going on. So, we have more input, so that's good. Anyway. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit. I'll probably change these out, make these bigger at some point. Um, 
yeah so these are gaining power now so as far as this system goes I can actually add on to this part of the system now because these are just being picked up by the the um, the water wheels and I plan on putting some more of those in I kinda like the way they look from the outside I still have that to fix up outside yet too so um, so yeah did a few more things started working on this over here getting it ready for today's episode as you can see I moved it out um, so we've got room to work in here now for today's episode and then this is going to get redone um, I've been working on a Steve's factory manager setup for this to try to make it more compact and I found one flaw in it so far that I'm working on fixing um, but it's really close to being done and we're just going to add in uh, one more pulverizer to the system and then one more um, uh, sieve to the system and it should be ready to go and then I'll get it on here and I'll show you guys the coating and everything so um, it'll still be running automatically all by itself and then um, we'll still have the storage over here like we're gonna work on today so but today I want to do some more ME stuff I started a little bit here um, I went ahead and made the interface terminal and I made the pattern terminal so we can make patterns and then up here work thank you up here I went ahead and made a crafting CPU a molecular assembler and a ME interface this is small this is very small to what I have um, if any of you guys have seen Thor video um, on his auto crafting setup that he has mine is going to be very very similar to it um, maybe not quite as big but that was kind of the idea I had for up here anyways was do a system like that this center ring right here this ME controller um, once I get going more this will get bigger uh, I, I want to put it around this ring right here so the more stuff that I have hooked up to it the better um, or I, I'm going to have more stuff hooked up to it than what is in it now. And I'll show you guys a lot of that, what's going on today. So, um, And one more thing. Yeah. Okay. So, what are we going to do today? Well, we want to get storage from over there. And even storage from the mob farm later on. To up here to where we can see what's going on. So we don't have to run over there and get stuff all the time. So how do we do that? Well, we need to make the bridge. To make the bridge, you need to make a... First off, you need to make a singularity. How do you make a singularity? Well, most of you probably already know, you make it out of a, in a matter condenser. And the matter condenser is right here. It takes fluid dust, some glass, and iron. Not that real, not real big. Then you stick a 64K drive in it, Let's run down here real quick. I've got it set up here because this is the only access area I have right now. Um, but I'm going to be using it for my trash can for the most part. Um, all the extra stuff for my tree farm is coming down here. All the extra stuff out of this this mob farm is going in there. I still... i got to change some stuff up on here on some of the sorting. Um... Because these blizz rods, I don't know if I really want to keep them, but the nitor, the niter I want to keep. Because um, I got blitz rods and basil's rods. These will make blitz powder. That's not what I wanted. And this is used for this dust. And I haven't really found any use for this dust other than, you know, it makes that. And you can make florbs with them or the bucket. And the bucket has no use. So, other than making kind of a cool looking, liquid looking cover. Which might not be a bad idea. But that's for, um, that's from thermodynamics. So, I might think about that one. Anyway. And then these ones... Mob farm getting out of control. The inmates are loose. 
And then this one, you know, it's kind of the same thing. Blitz powder is to make erythium dust. And this, it's it's kind of the same thing. It's like, what do you use it for? You make the bucket. The bucket's not used for anything. The floor's not used for anything, you know. Got another one of them panels. That's about it. So, you know, I, I don't know about keeping the rods. We'll see. Um, I gotta look into them some more and if I have to... If I can grind them up and make something out of them, but anyway. So anything, everything is ender chest over here, and it goes into here. And you put 64k storage in, and you set it to ME condenser, um, and it'll make a singularity. You have to put 256 items in here. Now, if you're running a quarry and you don't want all of the rock, and different types of rock or gravel or dirt or anything else like that, you can shove that stuff in here and it'll fill up super quick. Especially if your quarry is going really, you got a lot of power going to your quarry and it's going super fast. Yes, I said super fast. Um, right now, this has been running for a couple of days, so this is going to take quite a while for me to make one. Um, it's going to take, I'm at 43,000 right now. 43.5,000, so, um, yeah, that's a long ways to go, but you get these singularities. Through the magic of YouTube, we have made three of these already, um, actually, courtesy of, uh, of Warpower, he had a bunch made up, and I needed some, and he said, here, take them, so he gave them to me. We're going to come over here. That's not a good spot for this. Let's go over here. Dig us a hole. Alright, so we're going to throw a singularity in. Ender dust. And a tiny TNT. I've never done this before, by just Just so you guys know. I've never actually done this before. You probably have to place that. Do I have... What do I have in me? Because I know you have to activate... I think you have to activate that. I've, I've Every server I've been on doesn't never allowed those the spatial pylons, so... Um, so, yeah. I've never actually made one of these. This is actually a first for me. Let's grab one of these. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. But I do know it's Ender Powder, Tiny TNT, and a Singularity. That's how you make these. So if I put that there and throw that in there... Why are you bouncing out of there? I just suck them up. This is Epic Fail Moment 101. And this is how you fail. Typically, because this is not doing anything. Alright, let me make sure I'm doing this. I'm doing something wrong. I know I am. I'll be right back when I get it right. Alright, we are back. I was close. Um, so you got your TNT. A little lever down here. You got your singularity, your ender dust, hit the switch. Uh oh. I picked up the singularity? You stupid thing. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Switch. Tiny TNT. Throw that in there. Hit that. And kaboom. There we go. So now we got singularities. We got two sets of singularities. Now it is always a good idea when you do this. To 
name these. Not only do you know where they're going, or where they go to, but you can't mix them up that way either. So if you're doing multiple projects at one time, you can't mix them up. So let's go up here, let's make an anvil real quick, and we'll rename these. I need to make a landing pad here. Uh, let's see, anvil, oh, we don't need to make one, I have one, alright, so let's put this guy in the corner here, and put that there, and we will rename this, we'll call it ore, so now it's called ore. Alright, so this other one we're going to save. We're not going to do anything with it today because we got plenty of other stuff to do today. Um, yeah, we'll just throw that, in there, throw that stuff back in there for now. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Well, we need to work on... This is where our processing is, yep, okay. Oh, I remember what it's going to do. We need to work on making the ring, the first part of the ring. And I bet I didn't make any cable. We've got nine dense cable. Okay. We're going to rudimentary hook this up. I will fix it in a bit, but I want to show you guys how to do this. Because um, I don't even have this cable covered yet, colored yet. So what you do is you simply go... Uh, nine by nine, or sorry, three by three, with the glass in the middle, and it automatically makes it. Okay, so we can put another one. Yeah, we got enough room to put another one up there. So, and then we've got room for. Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we can fit nine of them on this wall, or sorry, six on this wall. I can't count today. And what you do is you take your singularity, your quantum entangled, and you put one in here. Okay? That's the start. That's the first part. Then you're going to want to take a cable, and I probably don't have enough of these hooked up to hook up. Wouldn't you know it? I do not have enough to hook up. All right, let me make some more of this dense cable real quick. Let's see, what are we missing? And I know this is just your, your Fluix cable. This is nothing too big. We are missing our cable. Okay, so let's put that in there. Let's make the covered cable. And then make some dense cable. Okay, so now we got 12. So let's hook this baby up real quick. And I am going to clean this up. This is just temporary and I know this is a very expensive way to hook this up but um, it's gonna save us a headache in a minute once I explain what's all's going on here so just bear with me okay so now it's hooked up and you can see the green the blue lights are on that means it's got power which is what we want okay so let's run over here and since we're going to keep all of our ores and everything over here, even when we go to doing our quarry, I want to hook this system up to that. So we're going to come down here, and again we're going to put the same thing. And, okay. But wait, where do we connect it to? Well. What we need to do is we need to hook power to it. And this is simply just going to be a tesseract that is set to 
or tower. Ignored. No items, no fluids. That's receive only. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. Um, I gotta get an energy acceptor too, maybe? Because that's not taking the power. If I put that there and put... Yeah, okay, so I gotta get an energy acceptor. Real quick. is this block right here. Uh-oh. We're out of quartz glass. Down. I need to make this pad bigger. Did I have some grinding in here? I did not. Take those. Come down here. Do 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 Elevator music. Alright, that's enough. Soon we won't even have to worry about that. We will be working on Auto crafting today also. Show you guys the basics of it. And then we can get going. Um, Geronimo. So yeah, anyways. Um, this should fix the problem. There it goes. Now it's online. Okay, so now this one is connected to the one in the base. And it's connected to the ME controller. Now, what do we need to do? Well, we are going to work on P2P network um, to hook this up. So we're going to come through here. And now we're going to hook up all of this. The reason why I chose um, the dense cable is because the dense cable gives us more lines. 32 to be exact. So... You figure there's eight channels per, yeah, there's eight channels per. So if you look, one, two, three, four, there's 16 right here. So that's just, that's two cables right there. This is another, um, and then there's another two cables here because we got more than, let's see, what is that, nine, 11, or 10? Wow, that's 10 there. That's um, 36 total right there just for that storage. So... Uh, yes, there is a way to hook this up, and I might actually do that. Um, and I could just do regular cables. Hmm, that might work better. Less resources at the beginning, but... Anyways, if you use a 32 cable, which I think we're going to go away from... I think we're going to use a regular cable. And do the other storage one. Oops. Alright, so let me get the stuff round up. Because I think i got to make some more. Got to get some more quartz going. It'd be so nice when I get that system online. Because we're going to do a different storage, a different way to, to hook into that storage system that I just thought of. So let me... Let me get this set up. And I'll bring you guys back in and explain what's going on. I got a lot more stuff I want to go over today, so I'll be right back, guys. All right, we're back. So we hooked up this one, and it's just the single regular ME cable. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook all of this up with just this one cable. So what do we need? We need some cable anchors. We need some ME interfaces, uh, the flat ones. ME storage buses, some quartz fiber, and two colors of cable. Now I'm going with gray stone. Where do you get your ores? Stone. Okay. Anyway, so that's what I'm going with. 
So we're going to start off with the storage bus. And then with that storage bus, we're going to put an ME interface on the other side of it. Then we're going to take our storage buses and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Since these regular ME cables only hold 8 channels, uh, we can only put 8 items in the sub-network that we're making. Uh, one's the interface on this side, and then the other will be the storage bus on the other side of the string. So we just simply hook this up. Like so. And then to keep this from connecting, we're just going to throw a cable anchor in there. And like so. Alright. Now, the problem is, is these devices are offline. We do not have any power. So we're going to take this yellow cable and put it on there. Now it's not connecting. Well, the two different colors will not connect. And we do not want this to actually bridge because then it will break the network when we get later, when we get to the second sub-network. Because it will have more than eight on a channel. So we're going to take this quartz fiber and we're going to put it in between. Now the quartz fiber will transmit power not data so we will be fine so as you can see came online and we have so we should have access to blaze powder and quick drops quicksilver drops uh, diamonds the glowstone the certus quartz dust and the emeralds right no not the dust and the emeralds so if we come over here and look, what did we have? Diamonds, or no, blaze, because I, I did not have any blaze powder in here. So now, look right there, 2,488 blaze diamond, or blaze, blaze diamonds, yeah, uh, blaze powder. And if we look for emeralds, no emeralds in this system, okay? So, we need to set up the second part of the system. Now this is where a lot more that normally I set this up a little bit better to where I have um, it sectioned out better to where I can do this in just one string and then switch over and do the next one. But we're gonna just work with what we got. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now we need to add the second section on. So we just do like we did over here again. We're going to put a storage bus, the ME interface, and then we're just going to continue on carrying our cable. Oh, we need to put our anchors here and here. We're just going to carry these down like so. I forgot to put that anchor there. See, one good way to tell if you're doing this right, if that light is on before you hook the power bridge here, like this yellow is here, then it's not hooked up right. It does not work that way. So you can put, actually, we can just take this quartz fiber and put that quartz fiber right there. So then when we hook this up, sorry, when we hook that up, this side will be getting power, but it's not transmitting the data. And that will actually help us save on resources. So we'll just do this again, and then continue our line like so. Oh, we didn't need that one there. That anchor can go away. Okay, so now we're connected again in series. So now we're running those. So now if we go look for like emeralds or amber, we should, do we get amber? No. Emeralds or lapis. Lapis this is a good one to look for. Get off of that one. So emeralds, see, 612. Lapis. 5,450. Now, 
here's the thing with the way this system works you can still put take stuff out of there and put it in there and it will still come into here but when you fill it up fill this container up from outside it will not fill up your ME interface so it once this fills up that's done that's it so and I'm gonna put uh, void upgrades on all of these too I've got enough obsidian to do that ten times over now so these will all get void upgrades so I don't have to worry about anything ever filling up over here so let me finish this and I'll bring you guys back in when I get done and we will move on to the next part so we'll be right back right so we're done um, everything is hooked up and also with the little I had to cut into that block a little bit but we've got the facades in here that you can cover up um, the block so you don't see it which is no big deal uh, I'll probably be using those to cover this up so you don't see it from the viewing window over here the only reason why I wanted this here in the first place was so you could see the tanks um, I kinda like I like the way it looks I think um, watching the fluid come through and everything would look kinda cool and I might change those pipes around to some different pipes um, change these from the the hardened fluid duct or the the opaque ones to the transparent ones uh, just so you can see stuff kind of flying around back here so what's next well this wall yeah I'll clean up all of this later uh, I don't believe I'm gonna be adding anything to here I think everything else will just happen in the tower so we need to look at auto crafting is the next thing that we are working on um, we have about 10 minutes so the three parts to auto crafting actually there's four parts to auto, auto crafting you have your first step which is your molecular assembler now these you can put a blank pattern in them and craft one thing that's it one thing now if you attach a molecular uh, uh, an ME interface to it you can craft up to nine things in one now if you were to take this molecular assembler and put it on this other side it'll craft both of those at the same time crafting both of them at the same time but you need a crafting CPU crafting storage um, the multi block is called a CPU uh, the single block is the storage so and they have co-processors on there that can make you do multiple steps if you're doing like a five step process and you don't have a co-processor in there it'll do step one and finish all of step one before it moves on to step two with a co-processor on it it will do two steps at one time so it's always nice to have a co-processor in your uh, crafting storage so I need to build a lot of these molecular assemblers and a lot of these ME interfaces so we need to make some patterns to make everything okay that is step number one we need to make some patterns we probably won't get done with this today um, I'll probably build this up uh, in between episodes but um, you guys will get an idea on what's going on so the first thing we need to do is we need to make a blank pattern which is right here okay we should have everything for this we'll just grab Oh, I did that in the wrong one. I still did that in the wrong one. Give me the blank pattern. I'm gonna need glass. Because I can only make one pattern. Why is it not giving it to me now? All right, hold on. Let's clear this out. Try this again. Huh. It's not giving me the quartz glass now. Interesting. So we need to make quartz glass, which is real easy. Okay. 
make some of these up. And then let's grab the blank pattern. We'll grab a few of these and we're going to throw them in here. Okay, we're going to throw them in top. Now there's two ways to um, set up your auto crafting um, or your um, making your patterns. First is a crafting pattern with a little um, crafting table here. Or if you click on that, it changes to a processing pattern. Now this is what you would use for stuff like you're throwing in an oven or um, smelter. Smelters and ovens are the same thing. Or grinders or anything else like that. Um, something that you're not actually crafting, that you're making, would go with the processing pattern. So, what's the first thing we need for molecular assemblers let's see this okay molecular assemblers okay so we're going to need quartz glass so that's going to be the first recipe we t teach this thing but we need to make sure we're in crafting so we're going to copy that one and then we need crafting table of course and wood of course but we're going to use oak instead do we have any oak we do okay so we're going to take the oak so now we have to know how to make oak planks all right so i'm going to finish getting the stuff For this, this is only a couple more steps because we've got the logic processors. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's see, got that one, and then the annihilation core. We got that one. I should probably, I'll probably change this over to the pure one later because I'll get that set up also. So we're just going to take these and stuff this stuff in here. So now we can make all of these. And if we go to this one, the ME interface one right here, it'll show you what interfaces that you have in your system. And right now the only interface that I have right now is attached to the molecular assembler upstairs. So if we go back to the molecular assembler. Do we have enough to make one? No, we need more quartz. All right, so here we got quartz. Let's make 20. All right, so we can make that. Let's start that up. Make that real quick. 20. Okay, next one was The formation core. We'll just make these by hand real quick. Oh, we're out of a part. All right. Oh, we need to go to patterns. And the last pattern. Okay, so we're going to encode that. Now we can make molecular processor or molecular assemblers. And we'll go and throw that in here. Now this is all going to move, like I said. And then I'll show you guys how everything is getting done. So, let's look at Molecular assemblers, let's craft, let's go eight for now. Hit next, we are missing one logic processor. Do we have any logics down here? I have a circuit. 
We are at a redstone down here. I still got a stack in there. Okay, let's grab this stone real quick. Another floor. There we go. Let's grab that. And can we replace it? There we go. Put that in there, and then we'll get our logic real quick. Okay, there's our missing logic. Okay, so we'll throw that in there, and... Now, if we go up top here, we can actually watch this. Maybe, if I can get up there. Oh, maybe it's done already. It can't have, couldn't have gone that fast. Yep, we got our eight. Alright, so, now we gotta work on our crafting system and how we're gonna set it up. Let me... Get some stuff cleaned up. I got a couple more things to make for you guys real quick. Uh, I think we're getting close to running out of time. So, um, yeah, let me get that stuff made up and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. We got about five minutes left. So we're going to do this really quick. Forgot to do something. I chose Cyan our crafting network now the nice thing about this is that um, your colors don't uh, you won't mix so if I put like uh, cyan here like these gray cables they still won't connect there but they will connect there obviously so why am I using a dense cable because we have 32 channels I made Right now, I only made eight assemblers. I'll make more later. But we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So now we need to take our dense cable up. Actually, that's in the wrong spot. Sorry, wrong spot. Take this down real quick. Okay, so that's our center line. So we'll need to come over here. This is where it's going. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. All right. Then we'll take our assemblers and just attach them here. Now I'm going to put assemblers on all four sides of these, uh, just to make it go faster. It'll be coprocessors and everything else on here, so everything will craft a lot faster. Um, there is other ways of hooking them up. You can go in reverse, like, um, one assembler and then have it surrounded on four sides with an ME interface. Um, that works also. Um, that way you can craft four recipes, you know, or you got, what, 36 recipes that'll go into one assembler, or you can do one recipe for four assemblers. So then we'll take our small cables and hook them up here. Now you should see, there it goes. Now you see the lines on here. That'll tell you how many channels you're using. So we're using eight channels. So every one of these bars is four channels. And that's just for the 
interfaces. The molecular assemblers don't require a data channel, just a power channel. So we'll have we'll have this all hooked up, all nice and pretty next time you guys come back. Um, and then I think I can get can I get one more in there? Mm, might get part or no, I was gonna put the CPU out here. I was gonna put yeah CPU at the end of the chain. So with the way this is set up, I can set up one, two, three, four of those, four towers, and four different CPUs. Um, I can also branch out and probably put some over here in the corners uh, and whatnot too, and also, so, um, so yeah, it'll look kind of cool. I think it'll look cool when I get done with it, so, um, so now if we go down here and look, We can see we have nine molecular assemblers on. Now, one thing to make sure that when you're doing this, when you're setting towers up like this, um, don't put like this one here. Don't put all of these one recipes in the same one. Um, I would suggest going in the columns. That way, um, each part of it's being made by a different uh, assembler. So just just a little tip there. I like to do it that way. So like this is wood. This is you know, I would just put it in each one of the columns for every part. So, so yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to call that an episode. Um, if you like the, ha, <laughs> ha, wow, my intro is already, but extra is already being in a bad start. Um, guys, if you like the fact that we got auto crafting on, we got our storage up, we're ready to start crafting stuff, we're ready to start blowing through some of these mods. Um, hit that thumbs up for me. Show me some love. New channel, new the series. Let's keep the ball rolling. We're up to 51 subscribers now. Let's keep that pushing up to 100. Get that first benchmark made for us, guys. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, any comments or questions, please leave them in the down below. Until then, guys, I'll see you next time.